All right, in this video, we've got an iPod Touch here that arrived in this very interesting box, and it's running a special version of iOS. So let's get it open because I want to show it to you. All right, this is definitely one of the more interesting packing jobs. That's really bad. Like, what the heck? Some people just don't care about their stuff at all. Even when it's not, not theirs anymore after they sell it. So you can tell it's a first gen touch and unfortunately it has some engraving on the back which I did not see in the listing photos. But let's get it powered on and we can take a look at which version of iOS it has. And it's dead. So give me a second to get it plugged in, and we'll try that again. All right, got my handy dandy power brick here. We can see exactly how much charge it takes when we plug it in. Well, okay, it is taking power. So let's let it sit for a minute, and when it charges up, we'll come back. Here we go. This is the iPod and it is fully charged. So real quick, let's just take a look at the screen, which is in pretty good condition. It does have some scratches on it, but no cracks. And the overall, the, uh, the rest of the device is in good condition as well, despite the uh, engraving on the back which is too bad. I didn't see that in the listing when I bought it. I guess I just overlooked that. But let's get it unlocked and we are met with the home screen. And there is no swiping here. And I don't even know. Okay, yeah, you can move the apps. But if we go into settings, general and about, you'll see one version 1.1.5 which is pretty cool to have iOS 1 on a first generation iPod Touch. So I really like this style in terms of the iPod Touches apart from performance which this thing is not very good at. The feel of this is really nice. I like that it's flat on the back so it sits nicely. It doesn't rock back and forth like some of the newer ones. And I also really enjoyed that this, uh, that they added this, I don't know what it is. Is it plastic or metal? This dark gray border that then kind of scoops down here. It's very similar to the third generation iPod Nano, which we can compare. Let me grab one. So here's a product red third gen Nano. And it's got the same, uh, so this one has it all over the front, and then it kind of comes down here to the, the bottom, just like the iPod Touch does. I like that design language a lot. But unfortunately, one thing I don't like is the lack of volume buttons. So this iPod Touch only has a power button and a home button. There are no volume buttons anywhere on here. So in order to adjust the volume, you either had to go into music and adjust the slider or I believe you could double tap the home button at least you could later on in iOS you could double tap the home button oh yeah there we go and you could adjust it this way so not the end of the world but if the iPod's in your pocket and you just want to quickly adjust the volume without taking it out you really couldn't do that with this first gen it also doesn't have a speaker. So it's kind of got the same thing that the older iPods have in that it makes click noises when you use the keyboard. And then it's got the lock sound. And it's got a unique noise when you plug it into power. So let me show you guys what that sounds like.
Well, maybe this is a bad cable. Does it charge the iPod? Yes, it does. Interesting. All right, we'll just plug it into the wall and you can see the noise that way. And there, you can hear that. So this is definitely a unique iPod in that it has some features or lack thereof that were not seen in any of the subsequent iPod Touch generations. But overall, I like it a lot. I like the feel of it. And to get a model that is on iOS 1 is pretty special. There is no app store. You, the only thing you could get on here was uh, you could get email, contacts, you had Safari, YouTube, um, obviously music videos, music and videos. Although I guess you could get music videos. Let's see if the iTunes store still works. Oh, I'm going to need to get on Wi-Fi here. Let me do that real quick. All right, we are on the Wi-Fi network. Let's go back into the iTunes store and see what comes up. Oh, no. Does it not work? That's a bummer. Is the clock right? No, it's not. Let's fix the uh, the date and time here. So it is June sixth, twenty twenty three, and it's four nineteen p.m. There we go. Now let's see if it works. No. Let's see if Safari works. Let's go to Apple. Check out the new. Uh, the new Mac Pro with the M1 Ultra, or M2 Ultra, sorry. No. Is nothing going to work? Can we go to Google? Oh, yes. We have Google. Apple.com. All right. So the, uh, the browser works. Let's see if the Apple website loads properly or even loads at all. I'm going to say that. Oh, wait, there we go. Can we get to Mac? Oh, all right. Let's see if this works. Look at that, MacBook Air 15 inch. Who would have thought we would get one of these? Mac Studio. Come on, there it is, show us the Mac Pro. I can't think of a reason why you would buy this over a Mac Studio. They have the exact same chip. I don't even know what you can use the PCIe expansion for. If you can't use it for a graphics card, I guess you could add extra storage or like audio but in my opinion, it's not worth the extra money. But I digress. So the iOS 1 Safari works and you can kind of get on the Apple website. So that's pretty cool. So that's been a look at my favorite iPod Touch. And could you use one of these in 2023? I guess you could. You could probably still get your email on it. You can definitely get music, videos, and photos. You could use it as a calculator, calendar, clock. You could type notes on here. All those sort of things. So yeah, you could definitely use one of these in 2023 for very limited tasks. This might be a good way if you want something electronic that is not going to distract you with social media or just timelessly searching on the internet. This could actually be a pretty productive device if you use it correctly. So that's been a look at the first generation iPod Touch. 
running a early version of iOS in iOS 1.1.5 and this is a 32 gigabyte model which is pretty neat. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.